Praise the Lord and blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty, the King of all kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah, precious saints of the living God. This is Pastor Samuel from House of Prayer for All Nations Ministries in Boramwood, Hertfordshire, England, United Kingdom. The Lord God Almighty bless you all this morning and may the power of God touch you wherever you are as I minister unto you this morning the word of God. And thanks be to God Almighty who lives forevermore from eternity to eternity, the God of all flesh, the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the great I am, the I am that I am, the God of all flesh, the resurrection and the life. He said, I am he that died and I am alive forevermore and I have the keys of the kingdom of heaven and of the kingdom of hell hallelujah precious saints of the living god uh, the god of abraham the god of isaac and of the god of jacob uh, the lily of the valley uh, the lion of the tribe of judah the good shepherd the god uh, our provider the god uh, the god the god the god uh, the ancient of all days uh, the god who is the rock of ages he is our horn of our salvation this morning. We thank him once again for giving us the gift of life and the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says that for the steadfast love of the Lord that never ceases, his mercies never comes to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Hallelujah. Precious saints of the living God. So we thank the almighty God for his great mercies and his faithfulness and his loving kindness over our lives that we are, we are still alive and we have the gift of life and the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And therefore, we partake of life and godliness in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And this morning, uh, I have the privilege uh, to share with you uh, once again uh, the word of life, the word of hope, the word of exhortation, uh, uh, morning devotional message that will propel us to the praise of divine upliftment, supernatural empowerment, and exhortation in Christ Jesus. And by the grace of the living God, I will continue the message on the benefits of the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I trust God that by the end of this season, which is where we are still in the resurrection uh, season, I believe that these messages will lift us up and will empower us to become victorious in Him. Hallelujah. And today, by the grace and the mercies of God, uh, I subtitle uh, the message Under the Benefits of the Resurrection Power. The resurrection power gives us confidence in Him. Hallelujah. And we can find that in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter number 15, reading from the verse number 20 to the verse number Kadabrundiata. Leboloboshika, le kabodolobosha, rababa, zike, to the verse number 22, hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore. Let's have a short word of prayer, hallelujah. The Bible says that he is the king of all kings. Father, we thank you. Bless your word. Let your word come in power and in your audacity. And let your word cause revival. Let it cause spiritual awakening. Let your word bring healing. Let your word bring deliverance. Let your word bring salvation. Let your word bring emancipation. I decree by the power of your word that lives have been transformed uh, and many testimonies uh, will be given to your glory. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Beloved, the Lord bless you all. So 1 Corinthians chapter number 15, reading from the 20th verse to the 22nd verse hallelujah let's hear the word of the living god and may the lord god bless the reading of his word hallelujah the bible says that but now is christ risen from the dead and 
became the first fruits of them that slept. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that for in the verse 21, for since by one man came death, by one man also the resurrection of the dead. And in the verse 22, for as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore. Precious saints of the living God, this is the word of the Lord for us. The Bible is saying and is talking about the resurrection power of Christ Jesus here. In this context of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, Paul the Apostle, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, was preaching to the Corinthian church and he was admonishing them and empowering them about the resurrection power of Christ Jesus, what the resurrection power has done and the hope and the confidence that we have in the resurrection power. So he was elaborating this unto them, admonishing to empower them that it is the resurrection power that gives us confidence in him that we have future hope. And so when he got to the 20th verse, he said, But now Christ is risen from the dead and became the first fruit of them that slept. You see, when Jesus Christ rose from the dead, he conquered everything. He conquered the power of sin. He conquered the power of death. He conquered everything that we think of that is adverse to our life that satan brought it as a curse unto humanity so the bible says that but now christ is risen from the dead and became the first fruit of them that slept you see so when he conquered death he was the only one that had the power to conquer death and so god highly exalted him and giving him a name that is above every other name that at the mention of his name every knee must bow and every tongue shall confess that he is the lord and the risen christ hallelujah beloved i came to declare to you that because christ is risen we have confidence in him because christ is risen and is risen far above the heavens and is seated on the right hand on the majesty on high making intercession for you and i and for the body of christ and for the church of the living god we have hope in him we have confidence in him our hope and our confidence in christ jesus and his resurrection power is inevitable hallelujah i pray for you this morning uh, that you have become part and parcel of the resurrection you are a partaker of the resurrection power of jesus you are a custodian of the resurrection power of the lord jesus uh, and i pray for you uh, that because uh, he is risen from the dead and he has conquered death uh, and he became the first fruit of them that slept the reason being that is that he became first of all the bible even declares as a matter of fact that he is the first and the last hallelujah this morning i pray for you that may everything that is connected to the resurrection power of christ that makes him to be the king of kings and the lord of lords may that thing be released into your hands uh, may the first fruits of the blessings and the benefits of the resurrection power become evident in your life become evident in your life receive the power of the first in your life receive the power to become first in all things uh, for the bible says that for the last shall be the first and the first shall be the last uh, i pray for you uh, that you are the first uh, because christ uh, resurrected and he has become the first fruit of them that slept and for you and i we have the hope and the assurance in him that our blessed eternal salvation is guaranteed hallelujah and in the verse 21 the bible says for since by one man came death uh, by one man also the resurrection of the dead hallelujah so it is through him that death came to an end but in adam we lost the power to live again but through him came resurrection and life forevermore i pray for you this morning 
May your confidence in the resurrection power propel you and catapult you are to the things that you have purpose in your heart to do for the kingdom of God. May that grace be re released over you. May that power be released over you. Receive the spirit of confidence. Receive the power of confidence. Receive the assurance of confidence in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that in the 22 verse, for as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. So you see, in Adam we were all dead, but because Christ rose again from the dead, we have eternal life. Our resurrection is guaranteed in Christ's resurrection power. We have life forevermore. That is why when Christ returns back again, the Bible says, he we will be raptured and we will have a glorified body. I pray for you that this is the hope and this is the confidence that we have in our God. This is the mystery and the power of the resurrection. And this is the benefits that we have received through the resurrection power. That we have gained confidence and we have confidence in him. And so therefore, I challenge you this morning. Anything that you are believing God for. Come to the place of the knowing and the certainty in your heart that God is able to provide everything that you need. God is able to release everything that we desire of our hearts into our hands. And I pray for you this morning, whatever you are believing and trusting God for, uh, may your hands receive it uh, by the power and the confidence that we have in the resurrection. May your heart receive uh, uh, the breakthrough that you are looking for. May your heart receive uh, and may your hands receive uh, the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and add it no sorrow. May your heart and the confidence that you have in the resurrection power may it bring you joy may it bring you peace may it bring you uh, happiness may it bring you tranquility uh, in every area of your life uh, receive the power of fruitfulness receive the power of divine multiplication receive the power of the blessings of god that make it rich and added no sorrow the lord bless you beloved the lord empower you and the Lord bring you to this place of revelation knowledge in Christ Jesus through the resurrection power that our confidence is connected to his resurrection grace. And if we will stay in this revelation knowledge in him, that we have hope in him and our confidence that is in him is inevitable, we have come to the place of our blessings to be guaranteed into our hands receive that power and that grace now the lord bless you in the name of the lord jesus christ beloved share this word that this word will become an instrument of the blessing and a spiritual impartation to the lives of many people in jesus mighty name father in the name of jesus thank you for your word let the power and the confidence that we have in your resurrection power let it cause us to come to the place of breakthrough let it cause us to come to the place of prevailing over the works and the activities of the enemy let the power and the confidence that we have in you uh, uh, lift us to the place uh, of victory and triumph in you in the name of jesus i pray for your people this morning that may the power and the confidence that is embedded in your resurrection power, may it release blessings, may it release joy, peace, may it release breakthroughs in their marriages, may it release financial breakthrough in their businesses, may it release uh, supernatural manifestations of signs and wonders and miracles in their life as they connect with you by faith in the confidence and the hope that we have in you and in your resurrection power may they walk in divine supernatural manifestations and angelic encounters and supernatural help from heaven in the name of jesus i pray over your people that may the confidence that they have in you uh, bring them to the place of healing deliverance salvation and emancipation cause your people to be elevated cause your people are uh, to come to the place of promotion cause your people to come to the place uh, of receiving in you in the name of the lord jesus i thank you father that the confidence that we have in your resurrection power 
brings us to the place of received blessings and supernatural grace in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for answered prayer. Bless your people one more time. and Let them experience and encounter your glory like never before through the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. Beloved, the Lord bless you. The Lord lift you up. And may you come to this place of having confidence in the resurrection power, knowing that everything that we believe and have in confidence through the resurrection power brings the blessings of God to us and our blessings are guaranteed and inevitable in Christ Jesus. Amen and amen. Shalom and peace from God. Hallelujah.